I took parental leave in August last year, 2018, and that was for six months. So Alex had just turned three months. Um, we didn't want to take it originally so quickly, but my wife's work was uh, wanting her back sooner. So yeah, so three months to a nine month old, uh, six months in total. I've got my wife, Jane, who've been married 10 years, and we live out in Gordon, so that's about 80 kilometers west of Melbourne. We've got an acreage out that way, a nice big bush block. And our two girls, Katie and Alex, so Katie's now five, and Alex, who is 15 months. As we got closer and closer to the birth, it made sense that this was a really good opportunity um, from a family perspective, and you don't really get that Anyway, I've never heard of it anywhere else, let alone had the opportunity to take it up. I don't feel like I'm a trailblazer when it comes to taking parental leave as a guy, but I don't think many guys do take it. I don't think they consider that it potentially is an option for them. Um, I don't know if it's just a, you know, a held fast belief that only women can take parental leave, but it's certainly something that I felt comfortable doing. Uh, I know that a couple more people in my team have taken leave since. And I'm sure that's because it, they can see that it's, the team backs them. It doesn't affect your career in any way. In fact, it could actually help grow your team with people and upskill other you know, people with backfill for you. Um, and I think it's just, it's just great all around. Certainly from you know, my wife's perspective, it has a massive influence on her career, having that chance to go back to work and have that support at home. I had some great moments with the girls. Uh, when my first daughter was born, so she's now five, I missed out on a lot of that. So I was at work full time and I'd sort of catch up an hour or two at night. So being at home full time, I thought it would be hard, but it was probably a lot harder than I thought it would be. And probably not for the right, the same sort of reason that I thought it would be. Um, you know, I'm in control of what I do here at work, but you get two girls at home and I'm nowhere near in control of that, that situation. But it was great. So we live in a great block out in Gordon. We've got you know, a big bush block and it was winter when I first started to leave and we went a bit stir crazy, I think, for a, for a couple of weeks there, a lot of time in the house. But once we started getting outside and, and Alex, my little daughter, was becoming a bit more mobile in the pram, we would have some great time. We'd go out and walk around the block and I think one of my happiest memories was we've got this little bush area with some hammocks set up and we just lie in the hammocks and stare at the trees or make you know, animals out of the clouds and that sort of thing. And I, I loved it. And I think I said to my oldest daughter, Katie, at the end, you know, what was the most fun thing we did whilst I was on leave? And she said, playing in the hammocks, sitting in the hammocks and having a chat. And you just don't get to create that sort of memories when you're, when you're not there. I think if anybody has a chance to take this sort of time with their family, you really have to consider doing it. Um, guy or girl, it, it doesn't matter anymore. It's just, life with the, the girls, it's just too short and they grow up so fast that to have six months with one of your kids like that with your, your family is just an incredible opportunity. So look at your team, look at the work that's coming up, look at the, you know, the logistics of it and it'll get sorted and take the time, take the time to spend it with your family.